This is Kurt Heisinger, accounting professor at Sierra College and author of Managerial Accounting. This video covers the nature of a job costing system, which companies tend to use a job costing system, and uh, we also talk about the difference between process costing and job costing. So let's start with uh, what a job costing system is and, and why it's used. So a job costing system tracks revenues and costs for each unique job. So for example, if we build custom homes, very unique custom homes, then we would want to track not only the revenues associated with a particular home that we're building, but also all of the costs that are associated with that home. The uh, job costing system then is used to compare actual revenues and costs that you see here to budgeted revenues and costs. That is, after the fact, after we're done, for example, completing that custom home, we're going to take a look at our actual numbers and see how they compare to the budgeted information and then make any changes that we think are necessary going forward as a company. Then thirdly, we're going to use the uh, job costing system to assess our profitability. So we're going to look at our revenues and our costs and see uh, how profitable the job was and again go back and compare it to what we budgeted at the beginning. And then lastly, we're going to use a job costing system to track our revenues and costs throughout the production process. So it's not just right at the beginning establishing a budget and then right at the end looking at the actual figures and comparing the two. We're actually throughout the process going to be reviewing uh, how we're doing with our revenues and with our costs. So which types of companies tend to use a job costing system and what types of products do they produce? Well, first of all, they tend to be unique products. And they tend to be products that are not produced in bulk. So we'll call that a low volume product. And then secondly, they tend to be fairly high cost relative to uh, other types of products that high volume companies will produce. So they're relatively high cost. What are some examples of products that companies would produce where they use a job costing system. Well, we already talked about custom homes. Two more examples that I have here uh, include house painting services. So if we have a company that paints different houses, each job is unique. We probably don't uh, have a huge volume of houses that we paint, so that would qualify for a company that uses a job costing system. And a company that makes movies would almost certainly use a job costing system since each movie is unique. We don't tend to make lots of movies all at once, and they do tend to be high cost. So how is a process costing system different than a job costing system? Two different types of costing systems. Uh, a process costing system is a system that tracks revenues and costs for companies that produce identical products, and generally they're in large batches. So what are some examples of products that would use a process costing system? Well, milk certainly fits in that category as it is produced in high volume and it's also an identical product. Paper would fit into this category because again uh, it's an identical product, it's, it's produced in large batches so the companies would typically produce thousands of pages of paper all at once and oil as well would fall into this category, an identical product produced in large batches. So these are all ideal candidates for products that would use a process costing system rather than a job costing system.